All right, welcome to round one here at Liberty. It's John Mark versus Tim. Um, Tim is on the play. All right, I'm just going to play a swamp, tap, play Cauldron Familiar. Okay. And I'll go to 21, and you go down to 19. Okay. I lose life when it comes to playing, you gain a life? Yep. Okay, 19. I'm going to play planes. And Dauntless Bodyguard and Caster. What's up? So 2 1. Um, when it comes to the battlefield, I can name another creature I control. And oh. then I can sacrifice it to keep that alive if it were to die. Okay. I'll draw. I'm going to play a mountain. Tap the mountain. Play Witch's Oven. Already, already. And then I'm going to tap this. Play Blood Chief's Thirst on your dude. Yes. All right, then I'm going to go to combat, attack you for one damage. Yep, 18. All right, then I'm going to tap this, sacrifice this for a food token, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to sacrifice the food token to bring, bring it back. back. Yeah. So you'll go up to 22 and I'll go to 18, yep. or 17. 17. Okay. And, yep. Draw. Planes. I'm going to go Hopeful Initiate. All right. Yeah. Dauntless Bodyguard, targeting mm -hmm. Hopeful Initiate. Okay. And then I'll pass my turn. And you could just sacrifice this guy to make him invincible? Indestructible, yep. Yes. Something like that. <laughs> I hate so, witches of it. This is going to be good times. Okay. Play Blood Tith Harvester. Get a blood I'll, token? Yeah, blood token. Pretend this is a blood token, I guess. Um, I guess I might as well try to attack with him. I'll just block with my one, two. All right, I'll sacrifice it before the blocking goes happening. Mm -hmm. And then I'll sacrifice the food to bring him back. Okay. So I'll go to 23. I'll go to 16. Okay. Yep. I go? Yep. Um, I will play a planes. Um, I am going to go to combat. All right. Swing both. All right. So he's a two three, and this is a two one. Yeah. I think I'm going to try to block the two one. So I'll need to sacrifice some food yeah. to get him back. Um, I'm gonna pay three for a ganjo and kill that. Okay. Before damage, and then you'll just take two. Yep. Put on twenty-one. Um, go ahead. All right. Draw a card. I'm gonna play Bloodfell's Caves tapped. Go to twenty-two. Okay. I'm going to tap two, throw down Blood Tith Harvester. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sacrifice the first one to do minus four. To, oh, I have two blood tokens, so okay. minus four to the initiate. Oh, that's minus four. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep, and I'll uh, pass. Draw. I have a turn. Oh, I forgot to untap this. My bad. Full initiate. All right. I'm playing Absent Falconer. So those would still be able to sacrifice to protect. Uh... Um, no. Oh no, okay. it's, 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 it won't target this one. It's only this one. Gotcha. Um, and I'm gonna go to combat and swing for two. Okay, I'll take two damage. Okay, down to twenty. Mm -hmm. Um, go ahead. All right, draw a card. I'm gonna play a swamp. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna play another witch's oven. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's this guy do? Um, he gives all my creatures a plus one plus one counter slime. That'll be difficult to deal with. Yeah. I'm just wondering if I want to sacrifice my harvester for food. I mean, that's the question I want you to ask yourself. So that works out. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'll just 
pass for now. I could do it on your turn, I guess. Sure. Draw. Um. Play another Absinthe Falcon. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let's say. I am going to do pay one. Play Blair of the Elements, pro black. Okay. So, so my creature side protection from black until it turn. Okay. And then I'm going to go two, three, four, five, six, eight. Yeah, so I can't even block with this guy. No. And can't target with them with abilities either. No. All right. Well, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to sacrifice the dude for a food token. Sure. Then I'll sacrifice the food token to bring back a cat. Mm -hmm. I'll go to 21 health. You can go to 15. 21, 15, okay, and then you'll take the six? Yeah, I'll take six damage. Okay. So I'll go to 15, yep. and then I'm gonna, after that, sacrifice him again and bring him back. Sure. Should go to 16. 16 and 14. Yep. Okay. Um, that's my turn. All right. Draw my card. And uh, I will pass. I'm going to play Thalia's Lieutenant, putting a plus one plus one counter on all my other humans. Okay. So now those guys are all flying. Yeah. And then whenever I play a human, he gets a plus one plus one counter. Okay. Um, move to combat? Yes. Six, yeah. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, Alright. I'm going to pay a mana to sacrifice a blood token. Mm -hmm. Discard card. Discard, draw a card. Draw a card. I'm going to do that again. Yep. That was a big clump of lands. And uh, I'm just going to do this twice so I can get two foods, okay. bring them back twice. Okay. So I'll go to 18 before I hit that damage. and I'll go down to 12? Yeah. Okay. And then it'll be 12. Like, yeah, 12 damage, so I go to 6? Yep. Okay. Alright, and that is my turn. Alright. Draw a card. That is a lot of swinging creatures. Are there cards in the game that count me those? I promise I'll never change. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alright, well, I'm going to try to do at least something. Sure. I'm going to try to stomp the 3-2. You're going to absolutely stomp the 3-2. That's not enough really to save me, I don't think. Uh, Unless you draw, like, a land or something. Sure. Um... I'll uh, pass. I mean, it was the main order protection card. Yeah. Oh, wait, this isn't. This is exiled. My bad. Well, oh, actually, can you pretend that I played a mountain, and actually, then wait? Can I bring him back from an adventure on the turn that I played the adventure? You could. Okay. Because I, I think it would be better if he was on the field. I'll let you do that. I'm okay. not worried about it. Okay. Thank that's, you. Thank that's you. better play. Yes. Yes. Now uh, I can. I understand maybe. that I should not have done that, so don't yell at me on YouTube. I'm, I, I'm trying to get the best match that we can get here. Okay. Uh, Mistakes yeah. aside. I'm, I'm sure they'll understand. They're not going to understand. They're <laughs> vicious. <laughs> they're, they're not kind. I'm going to play Mardu, Will Reaper, and I'm okay. going to. Do you have what do you have in there? Um, three or two lands, two blood fifth, and a blood chief's thirst. I'll get rid of the vampire guy. Okay. Is that exiled? Um. Yeah. Okay. Yep, and I gain a life, so I'm up to 13. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to swing for 2, or 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 in the air. Yeah, I don't think even if I sacrifice stuff, I would be able to survive. No, you're going to net 2 and still... Yeah. Okay, good game. I drew like five lands in a row somehow. I have no idea. The secret is playing less and less lands, so I'm trying. I'm running. I was running 18, but I went up to 19 this week. Oh, that's crazy. I I'm only running 20 lands, I think. Okay, so, so that's pretty close. I don't. Yeah, I I'm like, I maybe I didn't shuffle well enough. Yes. Um. 
Oh, I should check my sideboard too. Ooh, I could use that too, that'd be cute. <laughs> That's interesting. Package that was like four cards in and four cards out. Yeah, four cards out. For the decks that are like, ah, oh, you gotta try can't. that. Mm. I'm gonna try that. I'm excited. Well, okay. If you're a man of base, I don't know. There's a card I want to replace, I guess. I guess it depends on how you're like, actually set up. Like, if you're relying on players too much, you yeah. some of your bigger stuff. And that's true. Like, Cavalier Flames is triple red. Yeah. yeah. Other than that, it's not too bad, though. That's why I discarded it there. I didn't have the fires, and I have steam guns in there. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. I only have double red at that point. Right. Okay. No, Abzan and Falconer is one of the reasons I wanted to build this deck. Is that the one that yeah, gives the flying? Yeah, with the counters. I, really need I looked at a bunch of humans lists and nobody was running it. I'm like, that's silly. We have all the cards that give people counters. <laughs> I want to try. I think this is bad. No, I remember playing against Cauldron Familiar and Standard, and it was the most frustrating thing. Yeah, if I'm able to get other like cards that synergize with it, I yeah. think I do all right. But yeah, it's sick. No, I have mad respect for that, which is like a Cauldron Familiar combo. You can basically do it once you have multiple. Have like do it close to 50 billion times a turn. So it is neat. Did you play it in standard too? No, I I only started playing recently, honestly. So okay. That's why I mostly just have standard cards, but I went out of the way to buy some pioneer friendly cards like these. Pioneer is cool because like once you get into it, like you can just pick up a piece of set or something. Yeah. So, like, that's what I'm excited about. Like there's just really two cards that I want in the new set. I want Runic Shot, and then I want the new Elite Spellbinder. He's like a three three for three. Yeah. Runic Shot is kind of, I don't know, it's like a sorcery speed, so I don't that, know that if it's as sucks. good. I mean, port, the, like, I'm not going to get a Path to Exile. Like, White's not going to get instant removal like that anymore. Yeah. Would you end up running blue to, like, be able to do the scry and other stuff? I thought about doing blue. Um, there's also um, a couple blue-white humans that I like a lot. Um, the problem is, like, I don't want to get too far away from an aggro set. I see. But, yeah, definitely instant speed's better, but we don't have a lot of instant speed options for at cost for way. Yeah, it's they do have like a lot of the new enchantments that like have flash on them. Yeah. That are like exiles, which I thought was interesting. I imagine those probably cost like at least three though. Yeah. And a three is no good. Three is like a finisher for me, so like Absent Falker is the finisher. Gotcha. Most of my stuff costs one or two. I have six cards that cost three. And that's the top. I'll go first. Sounds good. Oops. No, it's just on the tip. Did you drop a card too? Uh, did I? I don't know. I thought I saw one go. Maybe I think this is just my sideboard. Okay. I did like slip up grabbing these two cards there. I will keep this. Why did I deal myself eight cards? It's okay. Okay. Do you not read the comments, Tim? <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. I'll just start by playing Bloodfell Caves. Sounds Go to good. 21. Sounds good. 21. There I go. All right. I am going to start with playing the planes and playing a soldier of the Pantheon. Um, protection from multicolor. Whenever you cast a multicolor spell, I gain a life. Oh, neat. Oh, go ahead. Draw. I am going to stomp it. Stomp it? Sure. Good. Yep. Draw. I'm going to play a planes. And I think that this is better. So I'm going to play Luminarch Aspirin. Okay. You get combat. I'm going to put a plus and plus counter on it. And then I'll pass my turn. All right. Draw. Draw. Yep. My turn. Yes. 
All right, I'll just start with the swamp. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm going to bring out the giant. Seems good. He's a 4-3? Oh, really? Yep. Okay, gross. Is that strong? Draw. I am going to start by paying 2. I'm playing a Knight of the White Orchid. So when it comes into play, if I control less lands than my opponent, I can search my library for a place to put on the battlefield. Okay. Yeah. I'll do that. And that's a human? Yeah. Oh, neat. I have a dog one now from... I forget what's that. It's a 3 1 with vigilance. Yeah, I'm just looking at the lion and it has like hooves or something. Yeah, it's from um, Shards of Alara, is when it was originally printed. Hmm. Um, but I was excited to see it printed again because I wanted to play it. Gotcha. <laughs> and then I'm going to play a land for a turn. Right. And then I am going to. Play a Thalia's Lieutenant. So that's the one that puts a plus one plus one encounter on all my other humans. Okay. And when a human enters, it gets a plus one? Mm hmm. Gotcha. And then. I'm gonna pass. Okay. Did you put a. a oh, thing? no. Oh, that's my bad. I missed the trigger. You're fine. Oh, okay. Well, I will take any advantage I can get. All right, I'm gonna play another swamp. Mm -hmm. Just, just you wait. Eventually, you'll start shuffling everything in your hand. Oh, jeez. You'll start flicking cards. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, which of these is the best one to remove? I'm wondering. Oh, this has first strike even. Does it do anything else after? No. Okay. It just gets laid as a 2-2 two, two first strike. Okay. I'm not going to tell you which one is the best one. I know which one is the best one. Well, okay. Um, I think I'll just start by tapping a red mana, and I'm going to play Claim the Firstborn. What does that do? Um, I can grab one of your creatures less than three mana, mm -hmm. and then it gains haste for the turn, and it's just till end of turn. Okay. So I'll grab this 3-3 three, three with the first strike. Seems good. And I'm going to go to combat. I'm only going to attack with the 3-3. Three, three. I'll just take the 3. OK. 17. And then I am going to tap a mana. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play Bone Splinters, sacrifice this guy as the cost. OK. So, And I'm going to kill Luminarch Aspirant. That is the correct choice. So the counter doesn't end up mattering in the end, I suppose. Then I'm going to pay a mana, Blood Chief Thirst, your guy. Yeah. So maybe I should have actually attacked with the dude, but that's okay. All right, am I go? Yep, here we go. No. Drop. It's okay. All right, let's get stuff on the board now. Uh, hopeful initiative. Those counter spells save you. Containment Priest? All right. Dauntless Bodyguard and Amy Containment Priest? That is a lot of creatures that just came out. Um, if a non-token creature would enter the battlefield and it wasn't cast, I exile it instead. Oh, okay. Um, that's my turn. So... Oh, okay, so I just can't not cast things. Yeah, so you can't, like, bring your cat back. Oh, that's neat. Okay, um, at the end of your turn, I'm going to village rights my giant. Sure. Draw two cards. And I was wondering... All right, then I'm going to start my turn. I'm going to draw a card. This was not good. Well, I'll play a mountain, and then I'll pass. Draw. Uh, I'm going to move to combat. Swing team. Okay, so that's six damage. I go down to 15. I'm at 17 for people watching. Uh, go ahead. Okay. I'll draw. All right. I think I'm going to tap five, play Invoke Despair. What does that do? Uh, sacrifice a creature, enchantment, planeswalker. If you can't, you lose two life. I'm going to sacrifice my Dauntless Bodyguard. Okay. And I lose two life for all the other ones? Yep. So I lose four? Yep. Okay. And then I draw two from that. Thirteen. Okay. 
So, drawing it's expensive. Two. It is pricey. And then for my land for the turn, I'm going to play a mountain. Okay. And then I'll pass. Draw. Um, go to play Night of the White Orchid. Oh, right. <laughs> you get to look for planes. Yeah, put on the battlefield. I need a day out of while. Um, I'm gonna go to combat. I'm gonna swing four. All right, I'll go to eleven. Yep. <laughs> and that's my turn. That's more on here. That's right for the twelve. Perfect. Uh, Makes sense. All right, draw my card. Which is oven. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> One, two, three. Fable the Mirror Breaker. Sure. That'll make a 2 2. Mm -hmm. I'll throw on a counter for this. And. I don't think I played a land this turn, right? No. Okay, then I'll play another mountain. Okay. And. Yeah, I'll just pass. Draw. Play a Marty Bull Reaper. I'm going to exile the Bone Pressure Giant. All right. Go up to 14. Um, I am going to go to combat. 2, 4, 6. All right. I will block this with this. Okay. I am going yeah. to, in response to blockers, I ganjo it. All right. In response to I ganjo, I'm going to village rights it. Okay. Right. I draw two cards. So that will bring you down to seven? seven. Yeah. I guess so, because that's four damage, yeah. Um, that's my turn. All right. All right. Draw my card. Yep. All right, I'm going to discard two lands. Okay. Draw two cards. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna pay one, two, three. Throw out Mayhem Devil. What does that do? Uh, whenever a player sacrifices a permanent, it deals one damage to any target. Sure. Cool. And then I'm going to tap one. Play Cauldron Familiar. Mm -hmm. I'll go to eight health. Okay. I'll go to thirteen. Yep. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. That thing is a problem. Oh, it's because it's just a one drop. Yeah. I'm gonna pay three mana, and I'll play Blood Tith Harvester, I think. And. What does this card do? Oh, it exiles when it enters. Yeah, it's just a 2 1 now. Okay. Like, I like 2 1s for 1. Yeah, I want to bring back the cats, but your thing's stopping me, right? The containment priest? Yes. So, I think this is just my best bet right now. And I'll just pass. It looks like a hell of a lot more than death touch. And I was like, does it whoop his ass go for the children? You're still playing, Matt? I have a question. Yeah. Um, if you were to activate a blood type harvester and sacrifice it to target my creature, can I brave the elements pro black or red against his blood type harvester? Because I don't, I don't think the card itself is dealing damage. I don't yeah, know. it's just... 
It's a targeted like ability from it, right? It comes from the card though, not just after. Yeah, target attack. creature gets. So I can so. pay pro brought pro black or pro red. Yes. Cool. Awesome. That's all I need. Thank you. Thank you. All right, my go. Yep. Okay. You are at eight. Everything has black. That is true. I am going to pay one and play Brave the Elements Pro Black. All right, so it's protection from black. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I'm going to swing two, four, six, eight. I'm going to sacrifice my. Well, actually, hmm, that wouldn't even help me because I can't even bring it back, huh? No. Yeah, that's. Uh, maybe I should have just used a food token and eaten it. But yeah, I think that's game. Okay. Good game.